I've talked about guides in Google Drawings and Google Slides in some previous live streams, but I wanted to make a more concise, very short video just to show you how you can set up guides. And there's a couple of ways that you can do it. Let's check it out. So I'm just going to create a new document right here in my Google Drive. We're going to do both a Google Slides or Google Presentation document and a Google Drawings just to show you that it works the same way in either one. So I can right click. That's how I normally go to Google Slides and I'll just create a new Google Slides document. It'll open a new tab. And this is just all the normal stuff that I usually do right away, which is to close down the themes panel, drag select the filler content, hit delete, get rid of it, go to view and turn off the speaker notes. So now that I have the app set up the way that I want, I now can go set up my document for whatever I might be creating. Now, I like using guides for print design because it really helps being able to see measurements and give yourself some constraints so that you have some nice breathing room around your edges or maybe you want to position something on a page very specifically, guides are a really great way to assist you to do that. So I go to File, Page Setup, and in this case, we're going to make this an 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to go to Custom, it's set on inches, and I'm going to type in 8.5 by 11. Now I have an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. So there's a couple of ways to create guides. First, we want to be able to see them. So I'm going to go to the View menu, Drop that down, go to Guides, and say Show Guides. And you can see we've got two in here already, one right through the vertical axis center and one through the horizontal axis. And we can drag these and move them, and we get a nice little tool tip there that gives us an indicator for where this is positioned. So it's right on the edge, it'll snap. That's zero inches from the left-hand side. And as I move it in, we can put it at 0.25, so that would be a quarter inch right there. Maybe you want to have one inch margins. So we can just move the two guides in here. I'll grab this one and move it one inch down. There we go. Now, how do we create new guides? Well, we can go to the view menu, down to guides, and click add guide, and it will add a new vertical guide. There's two options for adding guides. You can add vertical guides or you can add horizontal guides. So we just added a vertical guide. Let's also add another horizontal guide. All right, now we can position these. So what's really nice about the guides, I really like this, is that the default snapping features really help you not have to do quite as much math. So as I drag it toward the right edge here, you see we get these blue lines, smart guides for guides. And it also shows me that it's 7.5 inches from the left side of the page. Likewise, I can start dragging down my horizontal guide and it will snap to mirror that same distance at the bottom. And again, we get those smart blue guides there and it snaps right there, which is nice. So now we have guides set up so that we have, we can visually see what one inch margin around our entire page looks like. What's also really great is that we can continue adding guides. I wanna show you another way that you can do this. If I go to view, and show ruler. Now we also have a visual ruler on the screen. And if you click inside the ruler, either one, you can pull down a guide and say we want this at two inches from the top. And there we go. We've got another guide. And we can do this from the left hand ruler as well. So I'll drag in a vertical guide and say we want this dead center. So it'll snap to the center and it turns red to show us that it's directly in the center of our document. 4.25 inches. It also shows us in that tooltip. I can just let go. And now I have my guides. What's great about these guides is now elements that we add to our page will snap to these guides. And it makes it very, very easy to set things up in a way that is very specific for our printing needs. Now, it doesn't have to be a print project. You could do this for digital ads or newsletters or whatever you wanted to create. In fact, I talked about how I use guides for setting up my YouTube channel art. You can also do this for your Facebook cover photos so that you know what distance you want to keep text from the bottom or the left hand side or whatever. In this case, we can just drag in some shapes just so I can show you how effective these are. So if I wanted to now position something, say I just wanted a rectangle 
in this one inch square here. So now I know that this starts one inch from the top and it's one inch tall. And we can just change the color. So say you're setting up some type of branded print collateral or anything, really, anything that you want to create. Guides really assist you in ways that will help keep your designs consistent. What's great about taking the time to set up your guides, especially in Google Slides, is now when I create a new slide, I've got some filler content in here, but I can just delete that. But all of our guides carry out through our entire slides document. So we only have to set it up once, and those guides will be visible on every new page or slide that we create. This really helps me when I'm designing things like catalog pages or newsletter templates or business cards, things that I want to make sure I have consistent spacing or sizing. And it shows me visually on the screen much more accurately what it's going to look like when this is printed out. One thing that I would really love to see is the ability to change the uh, guide settings from inches to maybe pixels or millimeters or centimeters. Maybe that will be a feature that they add in the future. But for now, this is awesome. This is great. And I love being able to pull in guides and have them work this way. All right, let's go ahead and do this again, but using Google Drawings. So I'm going to go back to my Google Drive, go to More and create a Google Drawings. Just so I can show you this works exactly the same way. The difference is Google Drawings is only a single page. There's no slides like you have in Google Slides. As you can see, because I was already viewing the rulers and guides, when I create a new Google Drawings, I can see the rulers and I can see the guides. So again, we can say, let's first set up our document, make sure it's set up for inches. So we'll go to File, Page Setup, Custom, and we'll put this at 8.5 by 11. So we have the same size piece of paper here. And again, we can drag these guides so that we have a one inch margin all the way around. Since my rulers are already in view, I can hover over the rulers and just click and drag to create new rulers. And again, they will snap to mirror the guides that I've already created. There we go. Simple and easy as that. I hope that you guys can see some usefulness for using guides. And I hope this video helped show you how to set them up very quickly in a couple of different ways. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.